Switching our focus back to the first South Korea-U.S. summit since the launch of the two administrations in the two countries, there was one unexpected achievement. President Trump supporting the idea that Seoul should head efforts to tackle North Korea's nuclear issue. Given the green light to take a leading role, South Korea is set to push for more dialogue with the regime. Connie Kim has the details. The biggest achievement from the first face to face meeting between the liberal South Korean president and the conservative and unpredictable U.S. leader was getting Washington support for Seoul to take the lead on the North Korean nuclear issue. There had been concerns about whether the two sides would be able to coordinate their respective North Korea policies. President Moon's stance on Pyongyang was summarized in two phases start with a nuclear freeze and end by shutting down the nuclear program. The Trump administration, meanwhile, focused on a policy of maximum pressure on the North, putting more emphasis on sanctions for the time being. However, to the surprise of many, the two leaders' joint statement said President Trump supports President Moon's aspiration to restart inter-Korean dialogue on issues including humanitarian affairs, raising hopes for a step forward in humanitarian exchanges with North Korea. Well, it's going to talk about uh, uh, basic humanitarian issues such as uh, supplying uh, humanitarian assistance in terms of uh, medical supplies, uh, food assistance. Uh, probably in exchange for uh, accelerating people-to-people uh, -people exchanges between the two Koreas. One of the major objectives uh, on the part of South Korean government is to speed up the reunion of uh, separated families. Experts say the humanitarian assistance given to the North must not overstep bounds set by international sanctions. And they say another thing to keep an eye on is North Korea's response. But at the same time, President Moon will have to find ways to work with China, a task that may be more complicated in light of his agreement with President Trump to boost trilateral cooperation alongside Tokyo. Connie Kim, Arirang News.